This is the plaintiff, Elfrida Capel. She says the defendant has been her landscaper for the past 15 years, and they damaged the siding to her house with their machinery and refused to pay her for the repairs. She has since fired them. She's tired of looking at the damage to her beautiful house and is suing them here and now for the $1,600 she's owed. These are the defendants, Ramon and Christine Reyes. Christine says she checked out the so-called damage to the plaintiff's house, and it was obviously old damage, which was caused by her former landscaper. Their lawnmowers didn't even line up with the old damage, proving they were not the ones who caused it. Even so, they offered to repair it for her to keep goodwill, but she refused and demanded a complete redo of her siding. And that's not fair. They're accused of harming a house. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant's landscaper damaged her vinyl siding, but the defendant says the damage was pre-existing and their lawnmower couldn't have done it. Somebody it's the case of, the okay, one more time, <laughs> mower, we hardly knew her. Alfreda yeah. Capel. You are suing Ramon Reyes and his landscaping company. You've asked us not to mention the name of the landscaping company, and we'll respect that. For $1,600, the cost that you say it's going to cost you to replace siding on the side of your house that you say they have damaged. Yes. Okay. How long have you been using them as your landscapers? Oh, about 10, 15 years. Do you know how long it's been? I believe it was about eight. Eight to 10? Eight to 10. 12. All right. And so what happened? Well, I noticed... Uh, that my the side of the house, the land, uh, the, the siding, was damaged with their lawnmower, and uh, I always paid my uh, the whole service for the whole year in the sp in the spring. So this spring, after they came for the spring cleaning, I paid the bill. But then uh, when the guy came and uh, he mowed the lawn. I went outside because I had seen the damage. I went outside and I spoke to one of his employees and he said, yes, we did this damage last year. So I went- Which employee said that? Do you know what the name of the employee? No, I didn't ask because I didn't want to know the name because if it came to this, I didn't want him to lose his job, you know. Okay. Oh. But so when did you notice the damage to the siding? I noticed it last year. And you didn't say anything until this year? Well, I saw uh, Ray one time uh, weed whacking uh, by my garden. So I went outside and I told him, you know, they got to be more careful. They're damaging my uh, siding. And what did he say? So he said he's going to tell the... Uh, employees to be more careful to be more careful okay but what and wh so what made that you didn't sue then you didn't even mention it to him last year so what made you sue now w what occurred that made you sue well my son was irate because i uh, you know we hired him because i uh, we hired him your he son says, was irate when, about it like yeah. he got mad well, okay yeah. what, what did he just show up and see it like when did he we're, well, we're, he saw I can't help but notice he's not here. <laughs> he, he saw it last year, and uh, because I rehired him for, the, for for this year, he said, what's the matter with you? Uh, you know, uh, why don't you make him responsible for, for his damages, you know? Then I sent a letter that I terminate the services uh, and because of this reason that he uh, that they damaged my side. Do you have pictures? Yes, I do. May I see it? So what happened? Um, she, she came, she approached me one time three years ago. Uh, about, uh, two, three years ago and said, you know, I want to show you something. And I, and she showed me to the side of the house and she, so, you know, she goes, I'm not, you know, I just want to let you know, I need the guys to be more careful because they're damaging the side of my house. I said, all right. And that was it. Then, uh, you know, this time about, uh, you know, we get a letter saying that she wanted something done about the damage. So then I had uh, my contractor go over there to talk to her and see what he could do. 
So he went there to replace it and fix it. And for some reason, uh, or they couldn't come to a conclusion on how to fix it. Because Who's she, they? My, my contractor. And her? And her, yes. He because? dealt with her. Because she wanted the whole siding replaced, not just the pieces that were damaged. So can vinyl siding fade? Yes, Mother Nature is not nice to man-made materials, and it could fade. OK, I, does anybody disagree with that? Because I'm not quite sure. Does anybody think it doesn't fade? Huh? Who what? It does fade. I think it does. They say Mother Nature times. I'm uh, looking for somebody on my side here. You see, there was bait and switch. Mm, moving inside the courtroom. Did no. anybody come out and take a look? Uh, yes. Yeah, Did you yeah. have a discussion with them while you were there saying the whole side needs to be? No. no Those I, words never I, came out I, of your mouth. I figured when he was done, he would come. Did he give you an estimate for, for fixing it? He doesn't charge me because I refer him. I refer him business. So whatever I have him fix, he just fixes. But we do have a letter from him stating that he did look at the house and that she was requesting for the entire siding to be replaced. Hmm. And that's and, why he didn't uh, talk. But does he, so he doesn't charge you. Well, by, uh, I, we, we sort barter. of barter services because yeah. we advertise together. And whatever I need, because we, we, we do damage. We do yeah, damage. I know. What, are you going to tell me that? No. I mean, I don't know if you do. I can't, if, you, if you're riding in this narrow piece, yeah. a, a lawnmower, you know, I, yeah. I, I don't know if we did it or not. I know I personally didn't do it, but maybe one of the guys that was working with me, because they lie. I'm not going to sit here and tell you. <laughs> they, I, I could tell them something. They won't admit the, anything, that's for sure. They won't admit anything. I'm like, listen, just tell me. I got a guy that fixes it. Look, I, I, I've i been in business a long time. I mean, we do damage. I send the guys over. He fixes it. Now, he went over to, uh, to talk to her about that, and it was the panels on the side. He said, listen, I could replace it. I told her it would be a little discolored, but she oh, wanted to- Oh, if it's to gonna be discolored, I don't want you to do that to my house either. Why would I want to accept a discolored house? Well. But if we replace the I entire- thought, Is it vinyl siding? Yes. Why would it be discolored? I thought that was a whole idea that vinyl didn't change well, color, Well, because the it? fade, it would fade. It would be it the same color, fade? but over the years no, but it, it does. So it does, vinyl siding does fade? fade? Yes. How many estimates did you get? Just but one. I don't know what else could have done it. Let me see the estimate. And then what happens? The first- call I made was uh, the lady answered, I guess it's Mrs. Reyes, and um, she said, Ray will take, take care of it. Well, the following week I called again, and I only got an answering machine. The following week again I called, still only the answering machine. Why are you guys ignoring her? I yeah. sent my guy over. No, I know, but at, when she's calling you after your guy came over and saying, what's going to happen, what's going to happen, why are you ignoring she her? She spoke to me because several times, and she demanded that she wanted the entire side of her house done. To you. I, she yes, said that to and you. And I said I couldn't do anything. Is it, I, here's a part that I don't get. Let, litigation first, it's like, you know, Alice in Wonderland. Sentence first, trial later. <laughs> litigation first, attempt to fix it, never. And in the attempt to fix it is free. Why don't you talk with her and try to, try to see if, because my understanding, Maybe I'm wrong, but I, while you guys were talking, I was looking up, I didn't mean to be rude, but I was looking up the, whether you know, the, the vinyl fades. I, I know every person in America who has vinyl siding right now has an opinion about what I'm about to say, and whether it's true or not, maybe it depends on the quality, but it's, it's, not, it's not supposed to fade. That's kind of the idea. You don't have to repaint it, you don't have to do stuff. So why are you saying that vinyl fades and it won't be the same color? Why is he telling, more importantly, why is he telling her that instead of just trying to fix it and seeing if it flies? I guess in his opinion, he wanted to be forthright with her. Oh, that's helpful. That's how we got here. If he fixed it and she didn't like it, she'd sue you anyway. Your Honor. Did you ever ask your guy who you got the, an estimate from whether or not it could be repaired? The, the guy, he gave me an estimate, that, that estimate, he says, if I just do the bottom, you know, it will not match. I said, okay, the I I've, I've looked into what the price for that many square feet would be to redo, and the, the, it is virtually identical to the amount that this estimate is. And I'm going to award the plaintiff the $1,600 and order the defendants to pay it. That's my verdict. Thank you, Your Honor.
Well, they've just lost their case in the people's court here. And uh, what's your reaction to coming out here on the losing end? Well, if we're responsible for it, we got no problem paying for it. You know, we do damage all the time, but my contention was that it was previous damage, but the judge didn't see it that way. No, no. Uh, why would she all, all of a sudden decide to sue you for some pre-existing damage? Uh, I don't when know, you, because she waited why? three years. Why, why would she do that? I don't know. You have to ask her. All right. <laughs> head right down this way. All right, so come on out. And tell me what you think of this outcome. It's justice. Justice been served. So why did you wait so long to bring this to court? Well, I just got a little bit fed up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Harvey? Okay, Kurt. Um, you know, this happens a lot um, where somebody's property gets damaged and they want it replaced. You can only get it replaced if you can prove to the judge first that you can't get it repaired. 